Hey everybody, welcome to Resplansibility. Uh, today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to look at a couple of plants, but we're not really going to go into plants too much. I think this is going to be the first video of a new style uh, format. Uh, more of a, a vlog format, if you will. Uh, because today marks the last day. Uh, I'm going to be in Texas for a minute. I'm moving to Arizona for a few months uh, to do some plant work out there in a couple of national forests. And so we'll be looking at some new plants, new new geology, new ecology, uh, maybe some edaphic endemics, some soil endemics out there. We're gonna be looking at uh, different, you know, biogea island, like sky island biogeography. We're gonna be looking at different, uh, different ecology, different plant communities, different animal communities as we go up in elevation uh, and some of the mountains over that way. and. Uh, Today I'm just packing up, I'm finishing up in the garden, doing some last minute stuff, and uh, tomorrow I'm making the trek out uh, to Arizona, so you guys should be seeing some more videos from me, uh, more plants, but then also maybe a couple videos uh, in this format where I just kind of talk about, you know, what I'm up to and, and what I've been looking at and what I've been seeing. So yeah, if you guys get bored of, uh, of hearing me talk, uh, let me know in the comments, I'll uh, I'm thinking about maybe doing a written blog as well, so if that's something that anyone would be interested in, uh, just keeping the video strictly plants, strictly in habitat, and then all of the uh, all of the verbose jargon can go into like a, a written format you guys can follow. If that's something that's interesting to anybody, let me know. I might I might explore that option as well. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy some uh, some random videos from the garden this morning and uh, and uh, enjoy the video. You can see the garden's a little bit overgrown. All the water we had this year, all the precipitation, definitely made uh, not only the plants that uh, we wanted to come up, but also the weeds grow at alarming rates. Uh, so we've got some pretty tall plants. Some of the taller plants I've got right now are uh, Grindelia squarosa, that's the curly cup gumweed. Uh, you know, in the wild, I usually only see it around four feet, but we've got some in the garden that, you know, I'm looking up at, it's, it's over six feet tall. And then our Maximilian sunflower is really is really up there too. We've got uh, uh, one of the evening primroses out here. We've got Onothera. This is Onothera jamesii with giant blooms. This is a biennial plant. Um, we got some good stuff going. Our pocket prairie's coming along. We're still fighting the weeds in it, but you know we're really we really got we've got some good blooms, some good flyers, lots of bumblebee action this year. Uh, it's been a really good year for them. I'm gonna miss the garden, but hopefully I'll be surrounded by enough cool plants when I'm in Arizona that I'll be able to, uh, I'll be able to stave off any, uh, any uh, nostalgia or anything about these guys. And I'll be back uh, before the fall is over, so. Well, thank you guys for watching this short responsibility update video and uh stay tuned for more exciting adventures from uh from out west and new plants new geology new ecology uh and uh new insights from uh from arizona and beyond see you guys in the next video